Uh, the resolution you described is actually already on the books in Pittsburgh. It was passed a youth curfew back in 1995, but it hasn't been enforced in years. Uh, this resolution proposes to look at reinforcing it or instituting a new curfew with a new approach. Southside business owner Rich Chuka would welcome Pittsburgh bringing back a youth curfew. It's definitely needed. We have a lot of uh, violent and dangerous juveniles in Southside and the city, and they uh, and their um, actions are ruining business districts, cities, neighborhoods. Council President Teresa Kale Smith says many other cities have curfews. She says her resolution is to start a conversation on the issue, but she wants action to come quickly by the spring. At this point, I think our families are fed up. They want to see us act. They want to see us worry about their kids as much as they worry about their kids. Mayor Ganey's office notes state law doesn't require people to carry IDs to prove their age and questions whether police could ask for ID without probable cause. Our priority has always been to build strong relationships with trust between the community and our officers. And we just don't feel something like the curfew uh, that's you know more on the punitive side of things would be that way to build those trusting in those relationships. All that our legislation did was say, let's have a conversation and it blew up into we want the police and young kids on the street having negative interactions, assuming that would happen. Kael Smith suggested opposition to a curfew is political. Council member Barb Warwick, who opposes a curfew, says this. Yes, it's political, but it also is what's affecting our children, right? I wouldn't want my kids picked up on the street because they were out after curfew, and I wouldn't want one of my neighbors or that to happen to families. The earliest this could come for a vote is a week from today, but Kale Smith says that she'll put that on hold and she wants to form committees to explore the issue. Reporting live on the South Side, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.